Now we all know about Jimi Hendrix, Eric Clapton, John Mayer, but what about women? I mean, a woman can play anything a man can play on guitar as well, right? <laughs> And the answer is of course! So to celebrate that fact, today we're going to take a look at my personal top 10 most influential female guitarists of all time. And coming in at number 10, we have a blues guitarist called Memphis Minnie. Wants to see my chauffeur, wants to see my chauffeur, I was in the dry me, I was in the dry me downtown. Now those licks you heard were played by her husband, Kansas, Joe McCoy. <music> Typical blues stuff. And Memphis Minnie is playing the rhythm guitar. Which is your basic swing rhythm, very popular in the 1930s and 40s. And that might seem easy to do, but it's actually a lot harder than it looks. Now, at number nine, we have a guitarist who speaks fluently in six languages and can play the guitar. I've got you under my skin. I've got you deep in the heart of me. So deep in my heart, you're really a part of me. I've got you under my skin. The song that she's singing is called I've Got You Under My Skin, written by Cole Porter. And normally you would want to play it a bit slower. For example, Frank Sinatra does it like this. I've got you under my skin. Like very mellow, slow tempo, but she's going all over the place. while at the same time looking at the camera and singing the song. Not even once looking at her chords. Pretty darn impressive. Now, at number eight, we have a singer and guitarist who was well known for playing rhythm and blues. thing about Barbara Lynn is, like I said many times before, it's not what you play, it's how you play. For example, this riff here. She plays it like this. Which feels totally different. And this one. Kind of like Jimi Hendrix would do it. Awesome stuff. Now, on number seven, we have a guitarist who was still playing blues in her 80s. <laughs> now, if you can still do that when you're 80 years old, that's a beautiful thing. But don't be fooled, Beverly Guitar Watkins really could play. Here's a small part from a song called Red Mama Blues. <laughs> that intro is truly beautiful, perfect for setting up your solo. And the great thing is, she doesn't use much or any vibrato, which, if you're a guitarist, you know you want to use vibrato, right? But it's very tempting to always use it and always in the same manner, and that becomes very predictable. So Beverly Guitar Watkins plays something like this. <laughs> She's like, I can use vibrato, but I'm not going to. <laughs> Brilliant. Now, at number six, we have a woman who was absolutely a virtuoso guitar player. Almost. 
Emily Remler playing her own composition, Blues for Herb, tribute to Herb Ellis, famous jazz guitarist. And it's one thing if you're able to play guitar like that, which <laughs> few people can, as good as Emily Remler. But she also wrote some amazing songs. I think my favorite thing is a piece she wrote called Catwalk. <laughs> and so on and so on and crazy chord changes and everything and she would play a beautiful solo on top of that phenomenal guitar player now next up we have a guitarist who was the mother of june cash who was the wife of johnny cash and she was tremendously influential in country music <laughs> Now the rhythm of the song is a typical bluegrass rhythm. And that's the same rhythm that Elvis Presley used in the beginning of his career. Well, that's all right, Mama. But Mabel Carter is playing the melody. As well as the bluegrass rhythm. Whoa. Pretty awesome. Now the next guitarist is very well known for playing great slide guitar. Great slide guitar playing by Bunny Raitt. And if you want to do this yourself on an acoustic guitar, best thing to tune to an open G tuning. It goes like this. The E goes to D. A goes to G. And lastly, the top E string also to D. And then you just grab the bottleneck and let them rip. never gets old. Awesome stuff. Now, at number three, we have a guitarist who started off playing country music, but rose to fame as a jazz musician. Great playing by Mary Osborne, and unlike rock music or blues, where you can just stick to one key, here in jazz there are all kinds of different chord changes, and it's also in a fast tempo in this case. So Mary Osborne is able to change her scale so that it fits the chord that's playing in the background. For example, on the A7 here, to play something like... And the D minus 6, she might go for... And in that jazz style, Mary Osborne was an absolute phenomenal guitar player. Now on the number 2 spot, we have a guitarist who is sometimes referred to as the godmother of rock and roll. That Gibson SG just makes anyone look infinitely more cool, right? Doesn't matter what music is being played, in this case, gospel. Now the stuff that she's playing has so much energy into it. It's not easy to play. Great playing by Sister Rosetta Thorpe. But not nearly as impossible as the woman who is on the number one spot, the incomparable Elizabeth Cotton. 
You might say, what's the big deal here? This doesn't sound too difficult, right? Well, look at her guitar strings. That's right, she's playing the guitar upside down. Now, being able to do this, that's, that's quite difficult, it takes a lot of practice. Then being able to play the melody with your fingers, takes a hell of a lot of practice. Imagine having to do all that with the guitar upside down. Oh my frigging god. Let's see how that feels. So, okay. Oh dear. This feels very awkward. And then the thumb, which normally you would use for the bass part, now is the index finger. Right. And if that wasn't enough, now she starts to use her thumb for the melody. Do, 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 do. Which I am not even going to try, for God's sake. Immediately, your respect for Elizabeth Cotton has grown tenfold when you think of that. Okay, guys, to finish the video, I will play the song Freight Train by Elizabeth Cotton. Not the weird way, but the regular way. And of course, you can find the taps, as always, on my Patreon side, and let's see if you can join me. Here we go. Altogether so different from what it was when I was young that it's an extraordinarily difficult thing for an old man to live in such a world. 